Hello, my name is Molly Stobold, and I am one of four undergraduate academic advisors in the Computer Sciences Department, or as we like to say, the CS Department. Through the following presentation, our goal is to provide those who may be interested in pursuing computer sciences with more information about the CS major and certificate, how to declare each, and when and how to access academic advising. Why study computer sciences? You may be interested in continuing your study of this field if you enjoy solving problems, are a creative and critical thinker, like collaborating with others, and want to create new technologies. It also helps that careers in CS are growing rapidly and often pay quite well. Thank you for joining us, and we're excited to help you on your computer sciences journey. Now I'd like to introduce Shelby Arkin, another CS advisor, who will provide specific information about the major and certificate. Take it away, Shelby. Thanks, Molly. If computer science is something that interests you, there is the CS major or the certificate. The CS major might be the right fit for you if you have interest in the tech world along with research and careers, you enjoy programming, problem solving, and diving deeper into these topics, and you're ready to tackle challenging and rigorous coursework in big topics in the CS field. The CS certificate might be the right fit for you if you want exposure to computer science, you want to learn programming fundamentals, and you have interest in programming, but not the advanced CS topics. The flexibility that we offer our students also extends into our CS curriculum. While some other schools will require their students to choose a specialization within the field for their advanced level coursework, our curriculum allows you to take coursework in a breadth of areas within the department. All CS major students are required to complete a set of core foundational coursework, which includes an intro programming sequence, a course on computer architecture, basic calculus and discrete mathematics, and two additional math courses, usually linear algebra and stats. Much of the flexibility within the major comes from the advanced coursework. Students must complete one theory course, two software hardware classes, one applications class, and two CS electives. Most students will take a class on algorithms for their theory requirement, but some other popular options for the other requirements include mobile app development, software engineering, operating systems, databases, optimization, AI, human-computer interaction, computer graphics, cryptography, and undergraduate research. If a student is earning a CS certificate, they need to complete CS 300, two CS courses 400 or above, and two CS courses at any level, excluding CS 200, 202, 220, and 368. In order to declare the major, students must complete CS 300 and Math 222 or Math 276, earn a BC or better in CS 300 or another intro programming course taken at UW-Madison. SD grade is accepted if taken in spring 2020, and they have a combined GPA of 2.25. Additional coursework, including CS 240, 354, or 400 can be used to meet the GPA requirement if needed. If there's no GPA due to SD Spring 2020 grading, both CS 300 and Math 222 or Math 276 must have an SD grade. In order to declare the certificate, students must complete CS 300, earn a BC or better in CS 300 or another intro programming course taken at UW-Madison. SD grade is accepted if taken in Spring 2020. Here we provide general guidelines for CS coursework a student should take based on what they are currently taking. If you are currently in CS 200 in the spring, you should enroll in CS 300 and CS 252. If you are currently in CS 300 in the spring, you should enroll in CS 400 and CS 252. In addition to these two CS courses, students can also move on to the next appropriate math course. For example, if a student is currently taking Math 221, the next course is Math 222. As you can see in the sample four-year plan, a student can come into the UW-Madison with no head start and can easily finish all major requirements in four years. All students start their academic journey in different situations. A CS academic advisor can help you map out your own four-year plan. There are a couple recommendations for CS coursework. We typically advise that students take no more than two CS classes per semester as the high-level programming and large semester-long projects require a lot of time and dedication. This also leaves space in a student's semester schedule for general education and breadth requirements, courses for an additional major or certificate, and elective coursework. 
Avoid taking CS400 and CS354 together as they both have a high level of programming. For Math Beyond Calculus, we recommend Math 340, Linear Algebra, and Stats 324, Introductory Applied Statistics for Engineers. If you are majoring only in CS, we recommend these two courses. If you are pursuing another math-based major, we encourage you to follow that major's requirements. For the advanced CS coursework, we recommend that students do not take the theory and two CS software hardware courses in the same semester. These are the most intensive courses in the major. Please utilize CS Advising. We are here to help. The CS department offers several supports and tutoring options for students. The Computer Sciences Learning Center, or CSLC, offers free drop-in tutoring for intro programming courses. This semester, tutoring is offered through video meetings. Wisconsin Emerging Scholars Computer Science, or WestCS, is a study group for students currently enrolled in CS200 and CS300 and is led by peer leaders. WestCS offers course support as well as community building. Students can also practice through online resources as well. If you have a question about CS, please utilize our many advising services. If you have a quick question, you can utilize our advising email. This is monitored on a daily basis during the work week. Drop-ins via Microsoft Teams is great for quick questions regarding course selection or major declaration questions. And we also offer advising appointments via Starfish. Appointments are for more in-depth conversations regarding four-year planning, research opportunities, involvement, and academic concerns. Our contact information and social media handles are up on the screen, so please stay connected with us. We look forward to working with you.